It's funny, I counsel a lot of women candidates, and the first thing they say is, I, I don't want to be palinized. And it, it, it's a verb now. Uh, I, I didn't know that. But basically, they've been caught in the media lights, not knowing how to answer a question, because it's not a 24-hour news cycle. It's a two- to four-second tweet cycle. It moves around the world so fast, and vi it's viral. And, and it has an impact because it's so quick and it's hard for these candidates to respond to. They don't want to be put into that, that situation. And I think they're trying to run their own campaign. Sarah Palin has significant impact, but it's not just Sarah Palin. I'm going to throw another name in there, and it's Hillary Clinton. Those two women had dramatic impact. What, they, what happened in 08, meeting the money test, showing that these can be viable candidates, generating the amount of support that they did, changed the landscape, especially for political women, and especially in this case for Republican women. You're seeing a lot more women that threw their hat in. She would shine the, the light of the media's attention on these candidates. You know, we saw it in 09 generate a lot of influence. She has, she filled a void in leadership on the Republican side. She can talk to national issues and there's nobody on the left who matches her. And there's nobody on the right who matches her, quite honestly, in terms of megaphone, uh, drawing attention, raising money. Um, and because of that, she's a very important voice and she's been just historically on the presidential ticket, which gives her another advantage. So is she an important voice? Yes. Has what she about moved to, well, the thing is, I believe she's moved into celebrity status. Yeah, That's I was going to say, well, what about the fact of, that as a no. potential political candidate, and I'm personally not convinced she's going to run, right. that she has such high negatives among people who are not Republican and, and even among independents? Right. So is she, a, is she a cultural and entertainment force as much as a political force at this point? You know, the, the interesting part is there's, there tends to be certain protocols you adhere to when you want to run for office and you try to build your base, you do things. She's been so unconventional in everything she's done. I've long ago she uses stopped Facebook trying, and everybody well, reports every, every time she tweets. Well, I don't think that's a bad no, thing I think it's, for her to do that and have her direct communication. And I, I don't think people understand just how much impact that has just among local people and how it energizes and makes them feel like she's connecting to them. There's a, there, you saw it in focus groups in 04 and 06. There were a lot of women who talked, had that cadence, that kind of, uh, the, the, the sense of common sense government. Uh, she was kind of an amplification of that. That's you don't think she hurts the Republican her. brand? I think she has transcended it and become Sarah Palin Inc., you know, and, and nobody else can match that. She has to decide if she wants to be a serious candidate, be a studious candidate, and prepare herself for a presidential run, and I've yet to see kind of those steps be taken.